From Zero FXB, welcome to my channel. We're on the Warui or the Kuesheng. This is the newer model, K6, and it has an orange screen. If I press the PTT, it's quite bright, but you can see it's an orange screen. It's the K6 model. And someone asked me, will the K5 Warui Kuesheng work with the software? And the answer is yes. I'm just testing that now. So you get yourself a UV5R cable, plug it into the right-hand side of the radio, put it in your PC, right click select device manager double click ports and look you've got com8 use usb serial ch340 then go to settings up here once you run the software so i'll put the link in to download the software just da double click it and download it and you'll get this window settings go to com and then drop down here and make sure you you select com8 and, and click the word connect mine's you know, let's disconnect now and then connect, you see? Then you just go to the top and you go read in. If you're getting an error, it means you have not connected the cable correctly. It will work. So we click OK. First thing we're gonna do is go to basic info and it's telling me that I'm, I've got the K5, which is not because it's the K6, but it's the same radio, just with a slightly different case and a, a back light that is that is orange but to me it's the same radio but i really like it i prefer it with the orange backlight than i do with the white backlight so let's just go function keys and you can select all kinds of stuff here flash on off transmitting i think we'll change that one to oh look now power select alarm on off never going to use that we've got flashlight scan on off that would be good and monitor key that's fine so we'll leave that then we'll go to common settings. You can look here. Click light. Five seconds is the longest, which is such a shame because we want it on permanently. Single talk max length. Is that minutes, do you reckon? So let's go put it to about four or five. Yeah. And lots of other things. Beep control, battery save, channel display mode. We're going to put channel name because we're going to add the names now. VFO open is on, Vox we're not using, dual watch, A band or B band, I want it on both really, um, but anyway, so cross band transmitting, well I found that doesn't even work, but we'll try it, I'll, I'll turn it on, but as far as I can see it doesn't work, repeater tone, things like that, mic sensitivity, it's like mic gain isn't it, password, Right, okay, then we've got DTMF settings there. I'm not going to look at that now. DTMF contacts, memory channel. Let's do the VFO first. These are the presets. Look, look at that. It's got 50 megs, 120, 145, 245, 350, 4. It's, it's a lot, isn't it? And it's just some of the memory channels that are in it. We haven't done the scan. It's there's your FM radio. Nothing at the moment. Frequency, I'll just put one in. 94.300 is radio for bbc okay we've got that one in uh, back to our memory channel now, i have been adding channels manually but i haven't named anything so let's just start naming some of the ones i've already done now when you double click one of the channels it opens up a new window look so this is gb3 looking at the frequencies fi so we've got g Caps GB three F I. I just double check. I'd say I want that on high power because I'm going to use that outside. Tone seventy seven. That all looks right. Yeah. Click OK. The next one down. It looks like GB three WR. WR again high power. No receive tone, but we need a tra a send tone ninety four point eight. If you have received tone, you don't hear the pips. So I like the pips. So that looks about right. Click OK. And then we've got G, B, 3, B, C here. Pretty much the same settings. Click OK. What's the next one? I don't recognize that one. Um, there's Z, I think that's Z, B. So G, B, 3, Z, B. Yeah, so we've got send tone and tone is 77. Again, 
I love that one. High power, click OK. I'll do a power test soon. Hubnet is something I use a lot. That's my local node, Hubnet. Go down, we do need CTCSS transmit and 77. Low power, because that's at home. Now let's just add a new channel, just so you know how to do that. So there's a new one here, we'll go um, GB3, let's just call it AA. And then we'll put in the frequency 145.625. As the receive, transmit, it'd be 145.025, because it's 600 shift. Like so, and then it'll be high power. Transmit CTCS, that's what so we want to turn off the receive, so we don't need that. But the transmit send tone, CTCSS, is going to be around 77 on a 2 meter. And on a, as you know, it'll be 94.8, won't it, on 2 meter. And then set your power and click OK. So you get the idea, and then just send that to the radio, go right out. It's now writing to the radio, and then we'll have a quick look at the memory channels. Now, to get this radio into memory mode, you press the F button down here. Like so, F. Then 3, that's VFO and memory mode. F. Two is A and B, it's quite bright, and F1 is changing bands. So let's just quickly do it, like so, and then I'm not sure how great you can see this. We'll unplug the cable, and then we'll just go up and down the memories. We go F VFO three S VFO. Changing the frequencies. We put memory mode. Go F three. We're in channel mode. You can see the names. I know it's bright, but anyway, there you go. All working fine. Thanks for watching my channel. Seven three. All the best.